Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos. I wanted to do, I just did a video on um, my kind of how I juggle different age um, ranges for school. I have five that are currently um, in school and um, that I'm homeschooling. So I wanted to, um, I have struggled um, before with pre-K age and figuring out kind of what works best and how to get all this information and get them to grasp it and it, but also in a fun way. So I will link the video that I just did on my, um, what I use, or how kind of I navigate all of this, all these different grades. Um, but this is our, um, like layout, I say. Everyone else, the other four, have more of a check mark system or a flow. His is going to be more, it's not a schedule. I say his is a flow, but it is a um, specified flow. So it's more like, um, okay, right now we're going to do this. And right now we're going to do this. And right now we're going to do this. Whereas the other ones, it's more, okay, I just want you to get this done. Which one do you want to do first? Um, so with pre-K, I have, I will link my pre-K video that shows what I am doing this year. I am not using a specific curriculum. I am piecing things together and, um, I think that is how it will work best for him for this year. So he is four and a half, um, and he loves workbooks. He loves um, tracing things and I think that's going to work well for him because I have a lot of that this year. Um, so the first thing that he is going to do is handwriting. We use the handwriting from The Good and the Beautiful. This one is like the pre-K doodles or something and he um, did some of it last year, didn't finish it, but I just bought a new one and we're going to start from day one again and then just keep going all the way through. So he's gonna do that to kind of get started. Um, and then we're going to do um, the name tracing. I have a little template that um, has, where I can um, type in like first and last name, and then they trace it on it like for dry erase. So I laminate it and they trace it for dry erase. Um, so name tracing is very critical for him. ABC flashcards, I, for my kiddo right before him, his slightly older brother, I, um, in order for him to retain the alphabet, I literally had to show him every day. Okay, what is this? Go over the, every single day in the flashcards. And that is what helped him. This kiddo um, is one that has learned quite a few of the letters already because of his siblings. And so I think it's gonna, he's gonna fly through it, but I just wanna start and go over it and make sure that he gets it all. Um, because I want him to, I don't want him to, I don't wanna skip that and then we go on to something else and then he's just totally left behind. So ABC flashcards, I wanna do that every single day. The day and date of the week, actually that should probably be at the top because we will do that first. Um, I do have something that I bought from, I think it was Etsy a while back where they did the, I like a little binder, like day of the week, day of the week, how I, day and date of the week, how I'm feeling, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, what's the weather like? So I might do something like that again, or just reprint that. Um, I think we lost like a lot of the little Velcro pieces. So, um, I'm not quite sure, but something to see what the day is or the date in the calendar. And it might just be something that I print out. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, printed worksheets. I have a, um, like a, uh, was it off Teachers Pay Teachers? Yes. Um, that I got a little like bundle. I got the A through the F, A through F, I think. Um, and probably maybe 10 pages, 12 pages. And you can, there were a couple things that I decided not to use, but for each letter, it has a bunch of worksheets. And so they're the same worksheets um, for each letter, but it has a couple other things like, you know, matching the letters and different things that you can do with the tracing, um, you know, with 
finding the particular letter amongst other letters, et cetera. So I'm going to do that. So we will do those worksheets, um, kind of spread them out through the week, maybe do one or two a day, probably two a day, depending on how many I actually printed out. Um, the workbooks, I showed you guys that that is primarily what we're going to be working from, but I will um, basically at the beginning of the week, or actually it'll be this weekend probably, I will go through and tab the ones for that particular letter that we are going to be working on and he can kind of pick which one he wants or he can, we could, we're going to say, okay, for 15 minutes, we're just going to do these works, you know, out of the workbooks or I might pick a workbook a day and then do whatever, um, you know, pages are for that particular letter on that day. Um, so I'm going to kind of play around with that and see what piques his interest most with that. Um, then letter of the week craft, I might not do this every day, but I put this down here. Um, there are just really cute letters and I like to do a lot of um, like thumbprint or hand print um, things. So not just like necessarily just gluing, but things that I can look back on and you know see, oh wow, he colored that or this is his little hand, you know, made into a, I don't know, a, a crab or whatever. Um, so I like to do those kind of things. They're a little bit more like personalized. And then I laminate them and then I put them in a like binder that they can look at throughout the year. And then of course I'll keep it or they'll hang on to it. But ultimately I'll have it as a keepsake for the year. So that will come next. Science he will do with his younger, with his old, slightly older two siblings um, on the Tuesday and Thursday days. Health, health is going to be more for him like, um, you know, stranger danger and, you know, um, you know, this is your body and you, you know, nobody else, you know, that kind of thing. Um, good hygiene, make sure you brush your teeth twice, you know, those things that you're just kind of trying to instill in your kids at a young age. Um, and you know, just washing your hands, have to go to the bathroom, which they should know, obviously, but just kind of reiterating those easy to forget things that sometimes they forget. His extras are like my, the other two younger ones that I have, um, the draw right now and ABC mouse. So this is going to be kind of the order that we do things in. If it doesn't work this way, I will mix it around however it works. But I think this is going to be right with the exception of the day of the week and date of the week at the beginning as opposed to handwriting first. So that should probably be there. So I will alter that and then reprint it. Um, so it'll take a little bit of work at the beginning of the week. Um, or I say at the end of the, at the end of the previous week to get things together and make sure that I have things tabbed and, um, you know, figure it out and what I want to do, um, each week and make sure that I have all the supplies for the crafts and things like that. That is a, um, key thing for me this year is to make sure that I have everything before I go and get the stuff for the craft and realize that I don't have it. So that is his schedule for pre-K. It is loose. Um, but it is still kind of in an order. So he has a little bit of consistency. He likes consistency, but we are not going to time him in pre-K and have him finish something in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It's whenever he finishes it, it's fine. He'll just then go on to the next thing. So let me know if you have any questions about pre-K or um, schedule in general, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.